Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I have another iPhone hack that's going to allow you to remove the background from photos or even pull specific items right out of a photo. Let's get started. All right, so we've got the iPhone 14 Pro here, but this is going to work on pretty much any iOS 16 device. And I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the background from your photos and also pull specific items from those photos at the same time. The first thing you wanna do is open your Photos app and you wanna just find a photo you wanna play with right now just to test it out. So for us, let's just grab this one right here. So I've got an old Sony Walkman here that's just sitting on a table. Now, if I wanted to grab, say, just that Walkman, pull that out of the photo, or even remove the background of this photo, I'm just gonna tap on it, and then I can drag. You're just tap, hold, and drag. Now, if you have live photos set up with this at the same time, it is a little bit tedious to do this, but you can. You'll also notice sometimes you'll see a flash over them, especially if you don't have live photos set up. You'll see that flash kind of go across, and you can see it gives you copy and some options here. So if you wanted to copy just that image, share just that image that you're grabbing, you can do that too. But I'm gonna show you how to pull the background or remove the background from your photo on your iPhone first. So you're gonna tap and you're just gonna drag. Now what you wanna do with your other finger or other hand, you wanna tap away and you can go back at the top here to your album, let go, and now it'll create a photo there for you. And when you tap on it, you have just what you chose in that photo without any background behind it. So this is perfect if you do eBay or you sell online, you wanna have that nice white background. This will always ensure that you get that nice, white, clean background while still maintaining the item itself. And you can obviously edit this a little more. So if you wanted to straighten it out, you could do that as well. And it works exactly the same as any other photo would. Now let's try this with another photo here. So we've got a picture of my dog and he's just sitting there. Now, if I wanted to pull the dog out here, I can just tap and then drag and see, I can pull the dog and just go along and use it any way I want. Now, if I wanted to use some of these options here, so if I wanted to share it, I can tap share. It's going to pull up some share options here. I can open up my messages and I can send this specific message here without a background to this person. We'll just send it out. It's gonna send it to myself. And now when they open it, this is what they're seeing here. They're just gonna tap. I'm not sure why in messages, it automatically makes the background look black, but when you tap on it, the background goes back to white and you can see that that's the image now that I created and I was able to share it over to my messages. Now at the same time, if we go back to photos, you can use a drag method here. So you're gonna tap and then just drag. And what you're gonna do is with your other hand or other finger, you're just gonna swipe up and you're just going to find your messages. So just tap messages there and I can drag it right into my messages like that. And now I have it there as well. I can send it that way. And now you can see with that method, the black didn't appear behind the photo either. So it might be a little bit better to do it that way just to not have that in the actual message here. Now, if we go back to photos one more time here, let's just go to a different one. This one actually is portrait. I think I have one of them that's portrait. This one's portrait mode. So portrait mode, it works as well. You just tap and you can drag away. You can see that it grabs the dog. You can tap again here and it's gonna flash around the area that it's going to cut from. And you can copy this as well. That way you can paste it over somewhere else. So if you wanted to copy that, then maybe just open up your notes. And if you have a new note, you can just tap and paste the dog right in there and it works that way as well. This one didn't come out the greatest with the portrait. You can see the bottom of his mouth. That's not the fault of this tool. That's actually the fault of the portrait because it was a little bit blurry on his teeth there, but you'll be able to pick and choose how your photos are gonna come out. All right, now let's try one live here. So I'm gonna actually put my hand on this phone like this and I'm gonna take a picture of my hand with the iPhone right there. And now when we take a look at the preview right here, you can see my hand is touching the phone. Now, if I wanted to grab the hand pointing at that specific item in the phone, I'm just going to tap and then drag away. So tap, drag away, and you can see it'll grab the whole hand and the phone because that's what's touching. So if there's multiple things touching, you'll be able to grab all of them at the same time. So you have to play around to see how this works, but now I can take this just like I did before. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna open up my Photos app here and drag it right into this section here. Now I can take this photo 
for example, and I can upload that, let's say using it for my YouTube thumbnail. And now it's a little easier for me to make a background without having the desk and all that other stuff that was maybe behind my photo right there. So this is a really cool sort of iPhone hack that Apple didn't really make a big deal about, which was a little bit shocking, but it is there. That's how you use it. Like I said, play around with it first so that you can understand how it's going to work with specific photos. For example, if you have a lot of stuff in the photo, it's not going to be able to grab each individual item. But you can remove the background. This is great if you do eBay or you sell online to have that nice background. And this is Apple's new background removal tool or their magically isolation tool. I don't even know the exact name of it, but it's how you remove the background on your iPhone photos the easiest way possible. Let me know what you think of this video. If it was helpful or enjoyable, hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And as always, if you're looking for more great tips, tricks, and tutorial videos, there's a full playlist of iPhone 14, 14 Pro, and Pro Max videos that you can watch to get the most out of your new iPhone. Feel free to ask if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.